just a few weeks ago, um, you answered Jamie's question about uh, Lucas Milano saying he knows we need more from him. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing this is what you want from Lucas Milano. Yeah, he's been great. You know, he's he's grown in confidence. It, it, you know, it always uh, helps when you get a couple goals. You know, I think he grew a little bit getting that first goal, monkey off the back, and then uh, after he got that second goal, which was a key goal, his second goal, the first goal in the last game, uh, the whole game turned, and you know, you saw some of his best stuff of the year, uh, getting the ball, driving. Uh, so it's good. You know, hopefully we can keep building on that and. Uh, you know, he'll, he'll be a key guy down the stretch, and it's great to get goals finally from our wingers. That's going to be important. Right now, Adi and Valeria are carrying the lion's share of goals, and, you know, we need production from, from the wingers as well. And the more that we get our front four, all, guy, all those guys producing, the more unpredictable uh, and effective we'll be in the attack game in, game out. So Caleb said that he's been seeing a lot more confidence in you, especially after scoring these two goals. How, how are you feeling? Uh, no, la verdad que, bueno. Well, I'm, I'm really happy. It's true that uh, uh, when you're able to, to score, it, it gives you confidence. And I'm happy that I, I have been able to just uh, do that in the last two games. And uh, I feel very comfortable on, on the pitch with the team. And I'm just uh, focusing on the present right now. I think it's, uh, it's really good. And uh, just looking forward to what's uh, to come ahead. A lot of strikers talk about how important it is to score a goal, just to have one, just to have a goal there to give you, a little, like you said, more confidence. Did you feel like a weight was kind of came off your back when you scored that first goal two games ago? Como si sí, eh, muchos de los delanteros dicen que es importante anotar y se, se ha sentido que has podido quitar un peso de tus hombros eh, cuando pudiste meter el gol en el partido pasado. No este el domingo sino el anterior. Sí, sí. La verdad que bueno que después de, de que entró esa pelota, te lo dicen todos, una vez que se abre el arco hay que aprovecharlo, muchas veces eh, tenés situaciones y intentás, intentás y no se da, y una vez que metes una después tenés solamente una por partido y entra, así que hay que aprovechar esos momentos, hay que seguir por este camino y bueno, contento del presente. Yes, it is true that uh, when, when that ball went in uh, and everybody tells you okay well now that the goal has opened up for you it's it, everything is just going to come into play for you and it's true that uh, you get those moments when you get a lot of chances and nothing goes in and then all of a sudden the ball goes in and then all you need is one chance per game and they all go in so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really happy about the present right now um, I just found out his brother and sister were here how nice was it to to score a goal uh, with his family in attendance. No, ellos estaba bueno muy contento. Eh, estaba justo jugaba la selección argentina también cuando terminábamos el partido y teníamos teníamos muy poco tiempo y mi mamá me dijo que no se iba a ir de la cancha porque iba a hacer un gol y quería que mi hermano entre a recibir el tronco todo y que después iba a ver el partido argentina en la repetición porque si no ni bien terminaba el partido nuestro tenía que irse rápido a casa. Yo le dije que no me espere. Y ella me dijo que iba a hacer un gol, que se iba a quedar, así mi hermano entraba a la cancha, todo. Así que muy contento de que se dio, de que pudieron entrar y la verdad que haberlos tenido poco tiempo acá y que hayan podido disfrutar de eso es algo muy grande y bueno, estoy muy contento. Yeah, no, it, it was uh, actually kind of a nice story because uh, they were here and uh, there was a, the national team, Argentina and the national team was playing right after us. So so I told my mom to just leave before the end of the game so they could go watch the game. And she said, no, 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 you're going to score. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to watch the game on the replay or whatever. And then uh, she just told me that she was going to stay. So for me to have been able to actually score and see that ball go in when they were there present, it was really satisfying. Uh, it was really great for, for them to have been uh, there as a witness. Uh, of that moment, and then uh, you know they went and saw the game afterwards uh, for the Argentinians. So it was really, it's really, it was really fun to have had them here and enjoy that moment uh, with me. It was very special. Are you seeing a new level of confidence in just how he carries himself in practice or how he's acting on the training field? Uh, yeah, I mean, confidence is confident every day. You know, I mean, when you're confident, it's it's every day. You know, so I, mean, I think it's it's funny. You know, a couple goals can change a lot. And uh, I think he's feeling a little bit of pressure. And, um, you know, when you're feeling pressure, you're tense. And, you know, the next thing you know, he's, he's, he's uh, 
scored a couple goals, and I think he's loosey goosey now, which is good. So, uh, like I said, hopefully we can build on it, and he continues to perform because when he plays like he did last game, um, you know that's that's the type of guy we expected him to be and, and hoped he'd be, and now he's got to keep it going. You know, he's he's off to a you know good kind of run here, but he's got to keep the run going. Ciao, Valdin.